fucking hell. Got a tango. They're coming right at us. Let me spot off. Grenade, move, move, move. That's a supply chopper. Let's hijack it and bring it to the rebels. I'm sure they'll make good use of it. We just crossed into Barvechos. Good news. Sueño sent an accountant named Polpo to Barvechos to check out Nidia Flores' books. Word is Polpo is a hawk. He doesn't let anyone cut any corners. So whether she's skimming from Sueño or not, Nidia is not happy to have Polpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barvechos from Brazil, and the most of that gets laundered through Banco de Barvechos. With Polpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Sueño already believes Nidia Flores has sticky fingers. To know for sure, we need to get hands on Polpo. Our intel places his junior partner and right-hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barvechos. Grab Wagner and make him cough up Polpo's location. Our friendly neighborhood CIA officer just sent us a video. Who's got the popcorn? All the Sicarios in the world ain't worth piss if you don't have the accountants to wash the money clean. Octavio Allende is the accountant that does Sueño's laundry. They call him El Pulpo, the octopus, because he's got his tentacles everywhere. You take him out, a lot of other pieces no longer connect, but I want to use him as a weapon. Pulpo is management, and he knows it. Instead of an AK-47, he has a briefcase, and he uses it to open doors to businesses to cement relationships with politicians and police, and to make the cartel's money something they can spend. Thanks to El Pulpo, in addition to its illegal enterprises, Santa Blanca has its cash in numerous legit businesses. El Sueño has brought El Pulpo to Bolivia to audit Nidia Flores. Cash from Brazil comes into Barvechos, where much of it is laundered into the mining consortium. Nidia's profits must be looking a little light. Clear. How you guys holding up? Frag out.
frag out. Hold on. This AO is part of Santa Blanca's coke smuggling operation. Bowman's got files for us on all the major players. Woman in charge is Nydia Flores, an ex-beauty queen turned drug trafficker. Her right-hand man is a dude named El Boquita. Ugly motherfucker. Seems to handle on-the-ground logistics. She's the brains, he's the brawn. Rebels are going to have to go without for a bit. Her Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter, that whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble. In la desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us. Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as la reina de belleza, the beauty queen. And with her, she brought prosperity wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels.